Hey everyone! So today I'm going to start this video out with showing you uh, the dried result from our musical Dutch boar. This thing is so shiny. See how shiny? No cracks. Um, I did it with the Creative Inspirations Polymer Gloss Medium and Varnish and it's beautiful. So all I have to do um, is probably just wipe it off and go ahead and resin this and it will be flawless. So let's set that aside. So on today's video I wanted to show you how I mix that paint up. I already have a bunch of colors done here on the side but I'm going to do one color with you and then I'm going to show you how I make the white. So this is the Creative Inspirations Polymer Gloss Medium and Varnish. Uh, this is from Jerry's Artorama. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Oops, I got a sponge with that one, didn't I? <laughs> oh yeah, it's been a wonderful day. Okay. So I like to get that incorporated pretty well because it is a varnish and you're not going to get that watery drip off your stick because of the varnish itself. But we want to get it thin enough so when we hit it with the blow dryer, it will move. So I'm going to put just a tad more in there and then I'm going to add water. Um, I'm a big stickler about water. So this kind of undoes everything that I tell you to do. <laughs> Don't use water. Well, for this pour you have to use water. Um, you have to keep your paints thin enough. Floetrol will give you um, cells. You can use Floetrol um, if you like the cells. Um, my Dutch pours, I do not like a lot of cells. A couple here and there is fine, but I don't want cells in those. So I use distilled water. And I'm going to keep mixing this until I feel like it's thin enough. Scraping my stick to get the thicker paint off. Okay, so as long as I get some type of stream in there, I'm happy with that. I might just tad more. It's almost that time, guys, where I have to run the air. So I'm trying to get some videos done before you'll be hearing that running in the background. It's also my vent system, so um, I don't mind running it while I'm painting, but it's not fun to listen to. Okay, so for the white, I have about one cup of white in here, and I want to put at least one cup of this in there. So I brought another one down in case I needed it. I'm going to pour some water in here so I can use up what's in there. And on this one, I'm going to mix it with my varnished paint stick that I can always get clean. Still super super thick. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this bottle back and forth. I don't want to shake it, I just want to release that varnish from the sides so I can use this water. We will get some bubbles, but that's okay. It's going to take a lot more water than that to thin this down, so. You see it's still super thick. Super, super thick. I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of this in there because I already know that I'm probably going to be needing it all. <laughs> but it's a good way to clean that little bit that's left in the bottle out. You're not wasting it that way. Just don't shake it. So I've done probably six Dutch pours with this jug. 
Uh, they run, if you get them on sale, they're like $16.99. So it's comparable to a gallon of Floetrol, but you don't get as much. But for no cracking and a shiny surface, it's worth it. All right, let's dump that in there. Set that one aside. And then the rest we'll do with plain water. I might put a little more varnish in there because I think we are still a little bit too much paint and not enough varnish. So I do not shake these when I get them. I store them upside down so that um, it's easier to get it to the bot to the top. You can kind of just roll it back and forth a little bit, but don't shake it. Oops, a little splatter there. Okay, so we're getting there. This is so much different than our base paint mix, so base paint mix is easy. So this is one cup of paint and about a cup of varnish. And we're going to use almost, probably almost a cup of water to get it to that consistency that we need to push it with a hairdryer. Only for this type of painting, though. Still smidge thick. A little bit more, and that will be the one cut mark. So now I'm going to scrape my stick. Make sure I get all the paint off of it. I used to use um, min Minwax Polycrylic, and this was my stir stick, so it got a nice varnish coating on it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of that water in there, and that's probably going to be it. The nice thing with this stuff too, you don't create a lot of bubbles, breaking it paint down. Um, when I used the Lucas White with water, I was just bombarded with bubbles. So I decided I needed to find a different recipe for the white without buying the Vallejo and all that stuff. So this seems to be working just fine. I wouldn't share it with you if it didn't work. So we will play with this today. There we go. We are there. So it's going to be a little bit thinner, not much, than our base paint mix. Okay. So we are there. So that makes quite a bit of paint. You know, one cup of paint. Look at all the base we made. And I'm going to be um, making videos with this all day today so that I can use it up. Um, I don't want to let it set. I don't know what would happen if you let it set, if it would like dry to the sides of the jug or what it would do. So I'm going to use it all up. Let's see. My stick's all clean. <laughs> okay. I'll move that back. So this was um, Azo Red Deep from Soho. These are all Soho colors. This is the Phalo Green Blue. This is Cerulean Blue. Cad Yellow Green, Dioxazine Violet, Cad Orange, this is Soho's Metallic Gold, it's very bright, and see how pasty it gets? That's okay, because it's still thin. And then the Magenta. So, let me grab a canvas. And let's get started. These are uh, 10 by 10 level twos from Michaels.
and I'm going to move that with the spatula, offset spatula. Okay. And we will be using that again, so I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to go ahead and get my sides covered while I have paint down. I always like to make sure I don't have a big puddle in the middle. We don't need that puddle yet. But you do want to cover that canvas pretty well. Okay, do not do this without gloves with this varnish because it is almost impossible to get that stuff off your hands when it starts to dry. I had colored fingernails for a few days. I could not get it off. Okay. So on this one, I'm going to do some violet. And some cerulean blue. Some gold. I think I might put some of that, um, oops, some of that blue green in there too. Okay. Now, everybody says I make this look easy. It's not that easy, guys. So you put the white around the back, just one thin layer, and then you swoop the front. You want the paint in the front so we can push it over with the blow dryer. I'm going to pop those bubbles first. And here comes your warning. I'm going to use the hair dryer. This is on a cool setting. I do have this hair dryer in my Amazon shop. The link to my shop is down below. So we push it over. Don't keep messing with it with the hair dryer. Just push it out wherever you're going to go. If you want to do touch-ups, I use my airbrush or you can blow it. Um, I just use my airbrush and just touch those little leaves out a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to torch this right here. And that's it. Don't touch it anymore. Just let it do its thing. Um, I love when it runs over the sides because it looks pretty. But that's going to be it for that one. And then we're going to do a couple more. I'll do one more. So it's beautiful. Look. Let's do it that way. The colors are pretty. I'm glad I put that blue-green in there. Lost a little of the gold, but it's there. I can see it in spots. So let me move this one. And then we're going to do one more, and then the rest I'll do for videos. Okay, that's pretty really pull those for skins. I tried. They just didn't come out very good. So we use our spatula. Or you can blow it off with your hair dryer. Um, I just think this is easier. <laughs> sides. Try not to stick your hands in the paint below so you don't contaminate your white. You do use a lot of paint on these. Um, not a lot of waste though, like we do with the base coats. Okay, let me torch that. You may get a little noisy. The bus just came with the kids, so... You'll hear kids walking down the street chit-chatting. Okay. 
Okay, so on this one, let's see, we did purple. Let's do red. And some orange. And some gold. Let's throw a little pink in there. Okay, we'll take our white around. Double it back here. And here comes the hair dryer. Oh, let me torch real quick. Said, don't fuss with it too much because the more you push out the less color you'll have so you can always go in with a straw or you can blow with your mouth pick it up and blow it don't lean over it because you may drop your hair in there and believe me it's not fun getting it out Mary will tell you I dunked my hair in the blue the other day and it took me about five hours to get it all out of my hair <laughs> I was teaching her during class we laughed about it it was funny I had the prettiest shade of blue hair though. So that's all I'm gonna do with that one. So it's not as difficult as everybody thinks it is. Um, it's knowing when to stop pushing with the hair dryer and what colors to put together. I did not mix up any brown for this batch. I do like a brown in there sometimes uh, for contrast. I'm happy with this because when it dries, the red will be darker. Just getting those air bubbles out, you want to watch that. Um, if you can't get them out, keep tapping your canvas down. Um, like when you do a cake, that'll bring them to the top and you should be able to break them with your torch. So that's that one. It's pretty. Um, it could have used a little more this way, but I kind of like that white in there. We'll see how it looks when it's dry. So remember, um, I don't have a video just on mixing this. We'll probably use this as our paint mixing video for a Dutch pour. So you saw it first. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Check out all the links below. Join our Facebook group. And check out um, our Etsy shop and shop for your supplies on Amazon. Uh, this you will have to get on Jerry's Artorama. I did not see it on Amazon. So um, while you're there, order your Soho paints, your Lucas paints, um, your Grumbacher uh, golden items are there. Da Vinci boards, all kinds of stuff. Canvas. It's a good way to shop because if you order over 35 bucks, they give you free shipping. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all on the next one. Bye now.